For Morgan, Chris, Jonah and Jude, we ditch the nine to five to spend more time with each other after years of missing out. We're exploring every state in the U.S., creating experiences that bring us closer together the further we step outside of our comfort zones. Where are we now? Explorers. Greetings from Colorado. This week we decided to spend a week in Alamosa, Colorado because just down the road are the tallest sand dunes in North America. However, it was full of highs and lows that progressively got a little bit more low towards the end of the week. It started off, we had a very long commute. From where we were in Wyoming to Alamosa, it was a solid 14 hour RV commute. And so we decided to break that up into two different stays with our Harvest Host membership. The first one being a bowling alley. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, that's okay. Ooh. That was good, man. That was better. And the second, an alpaca farm. They're not like snuggly. You just want to like snuggle them. I know. <laughs> it's okay, say hi. Both of our stays were unique, and they were also very hot. <laughs> so this is the little generator that we use when we're dry camping. However, it isn't enough to run the AC. This is our air conditioning. It's cooler outside than it is in here right now. So. We were all ready to get to Alamosa because we needed some <laughs> relief. It and we were so told, hot. yeah, we were told that this time of year it's steady around 85 degrees because it sits in a valley in the mountains. And on average, for the whole year, on average, it normally gets about eight inches, only eight inches of rain. <laughs> Everything happens for a reason. I'm sure this area really needed that rain. And because I think we truly believe that, we're rewarded with a little surprise. Most vibrant rainbow I've ever seen. Things were looking up. And so the next day we decided to go for a nice little hike in the San Luis Valley to a waterfall called Zapata Falls. Making us lunch? Mm -hmm. One minute you're on the road looking at the scenery, the next minute you're in the scenery looking at the road. Mm -hmm. Did you like them? I just saw lightning. Maybe we should try this tomorrow. What just hit my head? You got some hail on your hat. Hail? <laughs> Unsuccessful hike. The owner of the RV park was telling me that this town only get averages eight inches of rain a year. So but that was the most we got rain whole, we, we had they had in six yesterday. years. We had a whole inch yesterday, and now it's raining again today. Oh my gosh, look at all that hail. Ah. You can't even see the mountain that we were just on. There's so much storm and rain up there. Although we had to go back and try again the next day, I'm so glad that it worked out that way because if we would have had bad weather, this hike was a lot more difficult, especially with little kids <laughs> than we originally anticipated. We've already made it further than yesterday. No signs of thunderstorms. I think we're in good shape. I can hear it. You can hear it? Yeah. 
Wait, listen. Can you? I do hear it. Footwear change. Yeah. We got our water shoes on. Feels good. The question is, can we keep going? Yeah. What do you think? Can we keep going? Yeah. yeah. Pretty rapid. <laughs> We made it to this spot! Falls, my second favorite part of our trip to Colorado. Second favorite. Because we came to Alamosa to sled down the tallest sand dunes in North America. How much money have we saved with this we, thing? We've saved quite a bit with this little pass. <laughs> Seriously, if you're traveling full time and get rid of these passes. Hi, <laughs> Hi there. Right up the hill. Is it even more fun? Yeah. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Oh, 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 I do not like. I wonder if it's too wet. Wow, it's actually healing. I'm getting hail on my camera. Yeah, don't open your eyes, guys. Do not open your eyes. It's oh. rained three straight days that we've been here. The boys <laughs> have a good idea. They said we should probably use the horn to kind of shield us. Once again, the weather, <laughs> not ideal. However, at the point that we were at, when the hail and the sand just really started whipping around, we were so far from where we parked that it just didn't even make any sense to try to walk all the way back. It probably would have been more dangerous. So we just had to seek shelter and wait it out. The plus side, again, there's a plus side to this, is we pretty much had the whole place to ourselves, except for one other family who invited us to hang out with them. This is sticking. <laughs> if I go down the same path that you just went down, then maybe I will get some. How's it going, love? How's it going? <laughs> There's a family next to us, and they have plastic UFO saucers, and they're just whipping down. And I'm here, just stuck in the sand. Oh. Well, we can ask you as well. Oh, 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 oh! Show wins! <laughs> Success! <laughs> My number one favorite part of our whole week in Colorado was meeting this family because there was a little bit of a language barrier. They were visiting from Korea and there was a bit of a language barrier between the boys. They're about the same age, but it was just so cool watching them find ways to communicate. Push up. Push up. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, good, he did it. Good, you got it. 
moral of the story, moral of our week, I guess, everything does happen for a reason. And just because it's not what you expected it to be doesn't mean that it can't be even better. Thank you so much for joining us and join us next week because things are going to be pretty fly. Pretty fly. See you then. Cheers. So the doctor said you might have something called appendicitis. And we don't know yet if that's true or not. And he's going to talk to his other colleague to figure it out. We might have to go to the hospital.